Thieves are targeting vehicles parked at DIA. Denver police say 10 trucks were stolen at or around the airport in the span of a week. Denver 7's Amy Wattis talked to one man who thought he parked in a safe spot. He was wrong. Glove box, center console was all ripped apart, stuff everywhere. That's what Dane Dooley and his girlfriend had discovered after getting back from a recent trip. They parked their 2015 Ford F-150 in Denver International Airport's Pikes Peak lot. He suspects the break-in happened sometime between October 7th and 10th since they arrived back in Denver on October 11th. So we think that they got in, they used some sort of tool to break the cylinder of, of the driver's side door handle. They broke that and somehow jarred the door loose and then got inside the hood, disabled the alarm. Stole most of some just some personal goods. I mean, our we had some clothes, purse, keys, um, uh, AirPods, stuff like that. Denver police say 10 Ford trucks, specifically F-150, 250, and 350 models, were reported stolen between October 13th and October 21st in District 7, which is made up of the airport and surrounding properties. Looking at data from DPD's open data catalog, which was last updated on October 24th, 330 cars were stolen from DIA and its surroundings this year. DPD says they are continuing to patrol parking lots and garages and conduct auto theft outreach to businesses. DIA stresses there are security systems in place throughout the area. That includes security cameras, that include, includes gates um, that mm -hmm. are required to go in and out of. While DIA can't release specifics on future plans, the spokesperson assures Parkers they are working on even more creative ways to make sure people's vehicles are safe. Some of those measures will be public and some of those measures we won't be uh, just for the safety of our passengers. So you've taken all the right steps. You locked your car, you turn on the alarm, and you even hid all of your valuables out of plain sight. But what do you do if that's still not enough? Experts recommend you get another layer of protection for your vehicle, like the club. Um, there's newer forms of steering wheel locks on the market now, too. Double uh, dual claw ones, ones that rest on the dash to limit steering wheel mobility. There's pedal immobilizers. Dane Dooley says he's still waiting to get his truck back from the shop. He says repairs will cost upwards of $2,500, and his insurance should pay for about half of that. You gonna park your car there again? I will not, no. No. Yeah, we're going to take a, an Uber or we're going to park. I've heard of a new couple of few places that uh, have restricted security and will actually wash your car. Amy Wattis, Denver 7. And DIA is encouraging people to call 303-342-4211 if you see anything suspicious going on. They say that number goes directly to 911 at the airport. And Denver has the second most auto thefts of any U.S. city. We are just behind Bakersfield, California. We do have the most in the nation per capita. So why? Well, many industry experts say it's because of legislation signed into law in June of 2021 that lessens certain crimes. So now under Colorado law, it is a misdemeanor to steal a car valued at $2,000 or less. Previously, it was a felony to steal a car valued at $1,000 or more. We have been call following Colorado's car theft problem for months and months now. And you can find all of our reporting, including information on the cars most often stolen here in the metro. And you can find that right now on Denver7.com.